Most people overcomplicate building an online presence. But what if I told you that it's easier than you think? Stick with me because by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the exact three steps you need to take to build your online presence. Let's get started. So every single week when I am coaching people in my program, they often come to me with, Jonathan, I can't do all the things. There's just so much to do. And I get it. We have too many choices these days. But what I want you to learn in this video is that it really comes down to the ABCs. If you can do three things, then you're going to be able to build that online presence and build that online business. So what are these three levers that you need to pull? Lever number one is awareness. So you might not be doing anything wrong. You've just not created awareness in your business. People simply don't know about you. You may not have a messaging problem. You might have a visibility problem. And in my book, Build Your Audience, there are four primary methods that I teach in getting that awareness. And so let's briefly look at each one of these. The first one is Boost. Now Boost is all about leveraging social media. How can you leverage social media to create more awareness? We have lots of audience or potential audience within our reach. Every single person does. So we're not starting from zero. If you have a Facebook profile, if you have an Instagram account, if you have a LinkedIn connections, you, my friends, have a potential audience. And so there's different strategies that we can do to boost the awareness on social media. What's another one? Number two, one of my favorites is build. Now this one is about traffic methods that are related to building following. A blog, right? We're talking about like search traffic, stuff that you create that lasts longer than just a tweet or just a Facebook post. You have a blog, a podcast, a YouTube channel. All of these are great ways for you to build a presence online, but we don't want to just focus on that alone because you don't want to build your empire on rented land. And that's why you need to stick with me to learn what number two is because it's the most critical part of this whole process. But before we do, let's jump into two more that I want you to know about. So we have Boost, we have Build, and next we have Borrow. So Borrow is asking the question, who already has my audience? So you can go get on, for example, podcast guesting. You can go be a guest on podcast. When I launched my book, Your Message Matters, I determined I was gonna get on over 100 podcasts. And that created the visibility for my book. There's lots of ways that you can borrow an audience. And I teach many of these in my book, Build Your Audience. And then the fourth one, number four, we've got buy. So you can, use Facebook ads. You can turn on the traffic right away. You can create awareness just like that. And so these are the primary four methods that you wanna think about. You don't have to do all four. In fact, I encourage you to choose one and do that for 60 days. That's what the book's all about. Choose a traffic method and decide you're gonna go all in for 60 days, whether that's boost or it's build or it's borrow or even buy. Now, if you wanna dive deeper into these strategies, I've actually got a free course that you can grab. There's a link below, and it's the Build Your Audience Accelerator course. So this course will go way more in depth than the book even goes into, that uh, is Build Your Audience, and it'll walk you through all these different, there's over 14 traffic methods that you can learn inside of this course. All right, let's get to number two. This is a big one, really important. So if A is awareness, what is B? The lever two that you need to pull in your business to create that online presence is belonging. You need to create a community of people. You need to create people who say, these are my people, or this is my mentor, or we have shared values, we have shared passions and goals and shared struggles. And so the way that you build this community 
is really important. You don't want to just do it online. You want to do what I call capture. We want to capture them specifically on an email list. You want to always be building your email list. And so no matter what traffic method I'm using, they all point back to building that email list, right? So for example, if I am doing social media, I might throw out that, hey, I have this lead magnet, I have this course, or do you wanna get a free copy of my book? I do the same on every single blog post or podcast or YouTube. By the way, if you're paying attention, I did it just a minute ago when I told you about my free course that goes along with the book. That is how I mix in the very important lever of building belonging. But it's not just about having people on an email list. You need to also be engaging them on the list. Now I'll talk more about how we're gonna do this in step three. But when you engage people on a list, that means you're regularly reaching out to them. If you want to build a relationship, you've got to connect with people. And so I often hear from online business owners, messengers, authors, coaches, speakers, and they say, Jonathan, I haven't emailed my list in five months. You don't really have a relationship then. So what do you need to do to create that? Maybe it's start a weekly newsletter and just be consistent with emailing them once a week with tips, advice, and ideas you have to be engaging them. So the lever of belonging is so very important. By the way, before I jump into number three, are you enjoying this? Would you like for me to create more content around this idea? Let me know. The way that you can do that is simply hit the like button or subscribe to this channel, or even hit the notification bell to let me know that you love this type of content and you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Okay, let's get to number three. What is this third and important lever? Again, we're following the A, B, C's. It's gonna start with the letter C and that letter, or that word is conversion. Now conversion is all about turning them into a customer, right? We want to be building customers and we want to be building that customer base. And so if they've become aware of us, and they've gotten lots of value out of the awareness that we've put out there, so much so that they want to get on our list, and then we continue to add the value there, and then we make them an offer. Now, I'm a big believer in trying not to burn out a list. You don't want to be sending them an offer every single day, and all they feel like is that I'm on this list so that you can pitch me something. There's a very specific process. In fact, I'm going to be publishing my exact system in my sixth book in the series called Monetize Your List. But let me just give you the two big highlights here that you need to know. First of all, it's all about the click. So what I will do is I will send emails that offer more value on a topic. So for example, I might send an email that is, hey, I recorded this video on how I do webinars. Go click here and check that out. The moment they click on that, they get tagged to my system as interested in webinars. In fact, they even get put over into an automated email sequence, which will give them an offer related to a training about webinars. But here's the key point. If they do not click on the email, nothing happens, right? So literally, you can be on my list and all you see is value until you see something that you're interested in once you click then it moves over to this part here which is offer so in other words i have my regular broadcast emails that are going out and they each have value in them sometimes these have a free pdf sometimes it is a video training sometimes it is a Canva template, whatever it is. But the important thing is that they're seeing regular value related to something they're already interested in. But the moment they click on one of these, then they will get put into an automated sequence. So this automated sequence is offering them something to purchase. So this happens automatically and this happens by broadcast. So this is manual and I send an email every day, story, 
offer an opportunity for them to get some value for free. If they click on it, they get removed from that. And now they're getting that automated sequence. And once you build these a little bit over time, it's an amazing thing that can happen in your business. So to recap really quickly, you've got awareness, belonging, conversion. Let me ask you a question and comment below. Which of these levers do you need to be focusing on right now? Maybe you just need to spend some time under awareness and we just need to spend 60 days building that business. I'd encourage you to check out the book, Build Your Audience. It will help you with that awareness piece. Or maybe you're like, Jonathan, I'm doing things that got awareness, but I don't have an email list. Then you, my friend, need to focus on lever two, belonging. If you say, Jonathan, I have people on an email list, but I'm not engaging with them, I not really making any money in my business, then you need to be focusing on lever number three. And so let me know in the comments below, which of these three are you needing to work on right now? And if you're saying, Jonathan, I don't even know what my niche is. I don't even know who my people are. I need to figure that out first. Then be sure to check out this video right here and I'll teach you four unique ways to find your niche. We'll see you in that video.